So hello everybody, today we came to a Russian dealership of Russian cars and we're gonna see what prices are there in the actual dealership. It's actually not that expensive. Look at this. I don't think this is a new car to be honest with you. But uh, still a good price I guess. I'd never buy for this price. This is like the the sports version of the car. I think it's even closed off, but look, <laughs> Vesta Sport. I wonder how much this is. Jesus Christ. I would never pay that price. By the way, in dollars, the price would be right here. Yeah, so this is apparently a sport car. But this is what average Russians drive. They buy a car like this and uh, drive with their families. So yeah, th this is the, the cars that are being released to the people. It's a good price, but I never pay this. This is just, what is this? Hopefully I won't get a disease coming in here. Oh, this car is tiny. I, I can't actually fit in it. But uh, yeah, this, this is small, very small. It does have a, two airbags, I guess. Enough of the safety. But yeah, this is, this is how the car looks. Never buy something like this. But uh, you know, ordinary Russians would buy it. There's even a, a touch screen thing here which is cool, but yeah, I, I can't even fit in the car. But uh, it's a good family car, I guess, if you're small. But uh, yeah, this is like the newest Russian car that you could get for 1 million rubles, 1 million 200 rubles. I'll put the price down here. And I think this is actually bigger. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is actually, way bigger this is actually nice the steering wheel feels good but uh, for this price personally i would not buy it but uh, you know this is way better than those bangers this actually feels like a car that uh, you could drive around has heated seats which is good in the weather in the winter weather has heated steering wheel and all the good stuff so the prices are decent i guess this is what you could probably get a new car in europe for so write in the comment section below guys look at jesus christ this is oh actually this is for four tires it's like literally less than a thousand dollars for wheels like this a thousand dollars for wheels like this and uh, this is literally $1,000, this Chinese replica style. God, this is funny. But I guess if uh, you want a new car with a warranty, you'd probably buy a car like uh, the people did here. Oh, actually, nobody bought this one yet. So this is 877,000 rubles. I guess this is uh, different, different uh, insides because this looks like a, a basic inside with nothing in it, but it does have a stereo on there, which is surprising. But uh, write in the comment section below if you would actually buy a car like this. And this is even a bigger Lada. This is the Lada X-Ray, 1 million 100. That's actually a decent price, you know? Let's go inside of this one. So you could see some money here somebody left some good old money here 
Oh, well, this is just uh, not what I enjoy. Honestly, it's all made out of plastic, like Reno style. You know, when you buy Reno, it's, it's this like crappy plastic. But for this price, uh, I guess it's actually quite decent. The seats aren't way too comfortable as you could see here, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll do its job. And you could see it's a Renault because it has the the Renault gear stick here, like a Renault Logan gear stick. Yeah, wow. So the steering wheel feels, it doesn't feel good to be honest with you. But yeah, this is, this is pretty much the prices, the prices of Russian cars that uh, you can buy in Russia. And I think the prices are decent. Let's see what happens in the in the coming up future, but I doubt you can buy a new car for this price in your country anyways. Look, and this is the colors you can get your good old lad in. Very nice. I take my ladder in this color. But yeah, you could get all sorts of stuff. You could get some uh, ladder rims. They're actually quite cheap. It's literally like a hundred dollars per rim, which is really, really cheap. So yeah, I mean, you could literally look at uh, the ladder selling here. Oh look, this is the the good old ladder, which is famous. It starts from eight hundred thousand rubles i'll convert that as well but uh, you can have a look and see that uh, it's an off-road vehicle it's been like built since i don't know how long i'd say my my grandfather was born probably when this was made but this is yeah an old uh, an old soviet car which is still being built to this day and uh yeah this is like the updated version of it uh, I don't know, I don't really like the design of it, but uh, a lot of people actually buy them. But uh, yeah, from 1 million rubles, it's not that it's not that much, to be honest with you. So it's, it's, it's cheap cars, so a lot of people drive them. And uh, if you're into commerce and stuff like that, you need to drive around. This is like the Dacia Logan MPV or whatever. I'll, I'll put the photo right here. It starts from 1 million 200. So as you could see, you could have a social taxi or whatever. So there's a lot of modifications of this car, you know, a refrigeration box and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's quite cool. Oh yeah, so I was trying to find this car inside, but this is like the new updated Neva that they made in Russia. So this is it, this is how it looks. Um, I'm not a big fan of the design of it, but you know, a lot of Russian people drive it and it's actually, you know, it's not one of the safest cars, but uh, it's quite reliable. You could literally fix it up anywhere. I mean, this is how it looks like inside. Yeah, so this is a ladder for you then. I mean, uh, as you could see, the prices are actually quite decent. So pretty much anybody can afford a ladder in Russia. And yeah, but I would never drive a Lada myself. I actually used to have a Lada, but that was like six years ago. It was a, a really old square Lada. I actually think I have a photo of it somewhere on my phone. So I'll just insert it right here. So yeah, this was my Lada that I used to drive. I bought it for like, I don't know, $800. I drove it around for like, I don't know, half a year. And then I sold it off and bought my Infinity. But you know, this is one of the best prices you could get for a new car. And you know, if you have a million rubles, I'm gonna put down the price in dollars right here for a new car. So pretty much you're buying a new car. It has a warranty. You know, if something breaks, you can come here, get it fixed. You know, you can take a loan out to buy the vehicle. And uh, I mean, if you buy an old vehicle for that price, um, like say my Cadillac Escalade or something like that. And if something breaks, you actually have to spend your own money to fix it. But if you buy a new Lada or any other car, you know, it's it's a warranty. So they'll fix it up for you for free. So that's why people buy Ladas in Russia. And yeah, guys, also I have this little proposal for you. If you want to see me 
drive one of those Russian cars, just write down in the comment section below on what car you want me to drive and take a video of it, maybe like a little review of the car. Just write down the brand, the name and the model in the comment section below and um, we'll see what we can do about it. So thank you very much for watching guys. Um, this was my little video about the Russian Lada. If you enjoyed this video and if you want me to show you other car makers in Moscow and their shops, just uh, write down in the comment section below what car dealerships you want me to show you. And uh, I'll go over there and see what they have there for us. So see you later guys.